Minasan, konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And today we are doing a quick unboxing, uh, or unboxing, I'm sorry, we are doing a loot haul video. Oh. Yeah. Um, the, so the thing is, um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but... This is Bandai's fault. This is, well, no, 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 it's not even Bandai's fault. This is actually Japan's fault. Okay. Okay, so you can blame this on Japan. Damn it, Japan. Next week in Japan is um, Obon. Yeah. Which is a huge holiday. Very important holiday. Very important holiday um, where uh, the Japanese basically go and clean off the graves of the dead. Um, amongst other things. But basically it is also um, a week off of work. Yes, um, for most people. Yeah. yeah, for most people there's a week off of work. Um, and it's, it's a big deal. Um, it's a government mandated holiday. So anyway, Bandai, before Obon, always does a summer um, sale campaign. And this year... Um, what it was is for every HG or RG kit you buy, you get a um, you get basically a weapon or a little accessory piece, which is kind of cool. Um, there were six of them. Three of them were released two weeks ago, and then three of them were released today. Um, the bag is so heavy that it has to fall over. Anyway, three of them were released today. And in order to maximize sales before the holiday where everyone can go home and build Gunpla, right. they release a lot of Gunpla. I mean, that sounds really cynical, but the reality is it's actually a really great idea. It is. Because the kids have been home for a couple of weeks now. Yes. They're starting to get stir-crazy. Dad's going to be home for the week. Mom's going to be home for the week. So she can spend this time sitting down with the kids and helping them build their HGs. Yes. It's brilliant. If, if you are building Charming. Gunpla, if Gunpla is your hobby, Obon is a great time to do that. Right. Um, so, Bandai facilitates. Visit old people, play with them. What can you do? Yeah. So... We went to my local hobby shop, and we got pretty much all of the new releases and then some. Well, one time. Yeah. Okay. So first off, if this... You ever, if you ever find yourself in the area of a city called Sano, let us know. We will hook you up with, like, the best Gundam store. Yes, yes. If you're up in the Gunma, Gunma Prefecture, yep. um, or uh, around it, then we can hook you up. So, anyway. This... This is not a new kit. Um, I'm just it's pulling out first because it's not a new kit. The thing is, um, Reconquista probably did not do very well. Um, our local hobby shop literally has like a pallet size stack of Reconquista kits that are all 70% off. Yeah. Um, so I got this for about $4. So, um, it's a pretty kit. It is. It is. It's a cool kit. I wanted to get it in the first place, but I just didn't. Mm. So I've got it now. That uh, is a great opportunity. It's going to be a fun build. Have you watched the show? In the comments, let us know if you've watched. Yeah, if you've, if you've watched Reconquista, let us know how it is. I, we watched like the first episode, but it didn't really grip us. No. I've heard that it picks up, but I just haven't had the time. <laughs> There's a lot of TV. Okay, so first purchase I made um, here is the new ep issue of... Gundam Ace. Mm. Um, this is a manga. It is, uh, actually, it's not a manga. It's a lot of manga, like 20 manga. Mm. Uh, it is 700 pages of manga. <laughs> um, so if you are a Gundam fan, they, they don't translate them to English, which is kind of unfortunate, because uh, I, I think they might be able to do some good. But fans might. Yeah, fan, fans do some of the individual lines. Because there are some individual comics in here that go on and on and on and have for like 15 years. Right. Um, how often does 700 comics come out? Right? Every month. Every every month. every month, 700 pages. Yes. That is a My lot of work. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like one person. It's no, it's about 20. Um, job creators. They, it is. It's a lot of people who have work, and it's great. Um, as a creative professional, that's awesome. Mm. But the reason I got it was because it comes with a beam javelin for the RX-78 II Revive Edition. Um, this, Which we did a review of. It's a wonderful kit. Yeah, yeah. We actually did a review of it. I love it. Um, I think the beam javelin is like pretty much the goofiest thing ever in Gundam. Um, really? It's right. Well, the, beam, the Gundam hammer is okay. also. But <laughs> anyway, it's, it's pretty goofy, but I wanted to get it just, you know, for nostalgia's sake, completeness sake. Um, I might do a little review of it, but like, I yeah, here's my unboxing video of it right now. Um Bonus unboxing. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'll do unboxings for some of the other stuff, but this is gonna be its own unboxing. There you go. Ta -da. 
it's actually more than a beam javelin. It says it's for the beam javelin, but it's actually more than that. You got your beam javelin. Um, you have um, some cannons here, which are actually really cool. I like those. Um, it's got an expanded backpack kit for the RX-78 that fits these cannons. So it's actually going to have these um, over-the-shoulder cannons that are really cool looking. Yeah. Um, and a smaller shield um, to complement the beam javelin. I like it. I think nice. actually that made it worthwhile. I was goofing off about the um, beam javelin, but that's pretty cool. Um, but I think you can get these by um, through like Hobby Link and stuff like that. Um, so if you want one, you can get one. You'll probably pay an arm and a leg for it because, <laughs> you know, these magazines are not light. Oh, also it comes with a lovely poster. Yay, of the RX-78 to Revive's cover. That's yeah. that's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. I might have to find some space for that. We can find space for that. Okay. And I mean, yeah, it's like 700 pages as I said every month. If you if you are not familiar, like Does it's it almost have, worth learning the language. <laughs> Does it have the Pirigana? Um for some of them, let me see here. Uh this one does. Hey. This one does. Actually, they all have it. Yeah, so they so all. This is something you could practice reading with. Okay, so Firagana is um, basically it's a simplified form of Japanese where the kanji, the complicated parts, the Chinese characters, of which there are thousands, mm. um, they're broken down into their kana characters, so you can read them phonetically. Um, so if you're learning Japanese, it's actually a lot easier, uh, and it's better for kids. So, okay, next the RG uh, um, Red Frame Astray. I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's not shut up about it. Seriously. I have not shut up about it. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited. The Red Frame is maybe my favorite um, build period like just in general. I love it. Um and I've been waiting months for it. This is basically my birthday present from Bandai. Who is this guy the Lightning? Uh oh, the Lightning Zeta over there. Yeah. The Lightning Zeta on our shelf will not stay standing. Oh, he's heavy. He's Mini heavy. Review. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, and then from the Revive line, we have the new Freedom Gundam, which is gorgeous. Freedom. Yes, the Freedom is going to be pretty, pretty kit. Um, I'm actually really eager to unbox and review it. Mm. And then we got the Kuranai Musha Amazing, the Hi. Kuranai Musha Red Warrior Amazing. Um, I'll probably do an unboxing of that. Oh, wow. I hope that the um, hair is that color. It's really beautiful in the pictures. <laughs> um, and this one is really neat. It has a whole bunch of, like, variant stuff. Like, it's got, like, a chariot with a cannon on it and shit. This is some next-level SD. Yes. It is, It is like, SD+. Plus. I mean, there, there are kits like that out there already. But yeah, but it's, it's also a lot of gimmicks for a little kit like that. Yeah. And then we have the Gundam Leopard Da Vinci, um, which is a really, really weird, like, it comes from the um, the Gundam Leopard, uh, Leopard D, actually, the Leopard D from um, Gundam X, mm. uh, which is a series that nobody watched, and... Um, Isn't that the one that Tamina said he hopes no one buys the DVD of? No, that's Victory Gundam. Ah, Victory which Gundam. Yes, which actually, Gundam Ace is advertising right now. They just did a Blu-ray re-release of it. Yeah. Tumino is not happy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, so the Leopard Da Vinci. We will be looking at that. And then let's see here. I actually got four of the little bonus kits. I have the other, I have three of them already, the A, B, and C. This is the A. It's a Gatling cannon. I wanted another one, so I got another one. <laughs> um, and then we have, let's see... The D kit, which is these weird pipe-like fingers. If um, you put them together, they basically form a flexible giant hand. Mm. That's kind of cool. Like the um, um, like the like the god or the the hand that um, they put on the um end the Gundam. build burning Gundam. Or or, or on Gundam the end. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then here is the F. Uh, piece, which is actually a shield that looks like a slightly more um, edgy and like complicated version of the RX-78 shield or it looks the like a Astray. Yeah, it looks kind of like a coffin lid. Put a um, skull on it, you're good to go. And it has a series of different handles, um, which I don't know why that is, but I will look in a moment. And lastly, oh, I'm going to have to get another one of these. God damn it. Um, <laughs> I know. 
stupid Bandai. Um, this one is a blade that goes on the arm and a beam rifle of sorts. Um, also, it has an extension piece um, and uh, looks like a backpack piece. So, a whole bunch of cool stuff here. I know the um, the A or the A, B, and C. You have the Gatling cannon. You have a backpack and like an expander piece or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, I've got them in the other room, but any I got those a couple weeks ago. So anyway, there you go. There's our haul. I'm gonna grab um, these and start doing a couple of unboxings real quick. Get those up, and then whichever one I want to do today, I will do a review of later. Yay! All right, matane everyone. Matane.